I want to talk to you about this exclusive story on the front page of The Australian today saying that the Prime Minister's department has created a senior position to coordinate climate strategy. Do you expect we could see the Prime Minister endorse a target of net zero by 2050 soon? Well, I don't, I can't read the Prime Minister's mind, but I am, have consistently said I'm dead set against us signing up to net zero and I'm dead set against uh, net zero because net zero is the biggest scam uh, since you last received an email from Nigeria. Uh, it's a scam that only helps the Chinese Communist Party because if we sign up to deindustrialise our own nation, it'll just be a blank cheque for China to continue to, to pursue its aggressive... Uh, uh, and illegal conduct uh, in our region. Uh, they're not going to uh, slow down their industrialisation. We know that. We know that because last year China said that they would sign up to net zero emissions by 2060. And in the same year, they installed 38.4 gigawatts of new coal-fired power stations. That's double the amount of coal-fired power stations in this country. So you should always look at what people do, not what they say. And I don't think we should, as a Western world put on massive big Chinese red handcuffs on our industry, on our jobs, and then give a free ride uh, to the country that is threatening the, the security uh, uh, and democracy of our region. Uh, so there's no way we should sign up to this agenda because we just cannot trust China to do the same. OK, well, it remains to be seen. Just uh, very quickly, I want to ask you about the vaccine rollout. A few weeks ago, you called for the AstraZeneca rollout itself to be uh, suspended because of concerns of, of blood clotting in, the, in Europe. Now this new advice has come out in Australia in the last few days. Do you feel like your stance on this has been justified? Oh, look, uh, uh, that's for others to decide, uh, Danica. Uh, uh, um, I don't pretend to have any special knowledge in this area. All I felt was... That was the, the cautious approach, given other respected health authorities were taking drastic action. Uh, I, I do uh, thank a lot of the medical experts that contacted me after I made that call, and my views were reaffirmed by, by their concerns, as we've seen. I, I, look, I, I think the lesson out of all of this is that we've just got to be upfront with the Australian people. I, I've got great faith and trust in the common sense of Australians to accept uh, the medical advice, warts and all. Uh, everybody understands that there are risks with medical treatments. Every time you go and get a major medical treatment, you're usually told you could die, you know, you could die if you get this anaesthetic. Uh, you're given those warnings. Uh, people make those judgments, make the decisions and assess the risk. And we've just got to be upfront. So I, I was concerned a few weeks ago that, that we were putting the, uh, the public relations uh, uh, task ahead of the... The, the health information task. And I, I hope now, after this last few weeks, the lesson's been learnt that let's just be upfront with people. Uh, people have common sense. We will get this vaccine rolled out. We're very All lucky right. to have other alternatives around the world, which we'll get, and yep. we'll get on with it.